All right, so in this video, we are gonna be taking a look at how we can control the camera inside Unreal Engine 4 using an iPad. Now I am starting to learn some more Unreal Engine stuff again. I started about two weeks ago because I really wanna get into CG again, especially with everything being down, not being able to find actors. I am now starting to look into virtual production again. I'm actually really blown away with the stuff that you can do nowadays. Now, uh, shout out to Winbush. Uh, he's a YouTuber and he actually showed this on one of his videos on YouTube. But I did miss one step in that tutorial and I'm gonna try and do a one-stop shop video right here, right? Right now so if you're not familiar with unreal engine 4 it's pretty much how they created the backdrops in the mandalorian series and disney plus go ahead and look into it it's an amazing program mostly was for gaming but with the new engine coming out next year i'm pretty darn sure that we're gonna see unreal engine more in movies in the future uh there's a couple of things you're gonna need for this to work uh first up is an ipad uh so this right here apple ipad 10 inch this is what i have it's 250 dollars it's the newest version uh seven it's the seventh generation this is actually my first apple device ever now unfortunately this right here is not supported in android which is very frustrating but that's just the way it goes majority of you guys out there probably have an ipad so if you have like a newer ipad or an iphone x and above or sixth generation ipad it should work uh if you're not sure go ahead and just try it anyway uh the second thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need unreal remote 2 installed in your ipad or iphone for this to work additionally you are gonna need your command prompt as well so go ahead and pull all this stuff up and you are gonna need unreal engine 4. so the assets we're using are all free in the unreal engine 4 marketplace this is from a game from paragon they released a bunch of free assets i think it's 17 million dollars worth of free assets that you can play around with in unreal engine 4. so that's what we're using as far as assets go i didn't do anything i just pretty much Put all of these characters in the scene and then that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and begin tweaking some settings in Unreal Engine 4 so the first stuff we're gonna need are plugins for this to work and this is where I missed that one step so basically what you're gonna need are five different things let's start with the one I missed which is AR kit it's the Apple AR kit make sure that's enabled and I don't have the face support so just go ahead and enable this it's already enabled so I'm not gonna click on it that's the first one and then the second one you're gonna need media IO which it should be somewhere right here media IO framework make sure that's enabled as well and then you're gonna need take recorder okay make sure that's also enabled and you can go ahead and do this and then we'll do restart now after so just follow along do take recorder and then lastly the two we're gonna need are virtual production utilities and virtual camera so that's a total five uh, plugins you're gonna need to enable in Unreal Engine 4. After that's done, go ahead and click Restart Now and the scene should come right back up like you're seeing right now. All right, so the next couple of things we're gonna do, we're gonna go to Edit. Let's go to Editor Preferences. And if you go to Play, so right here, pick the resolution of your device. So if your devi device is one of this here, then pick it, phone right here as well, uh, all that stuff. Now the resolutions, the Androids are there, but the actual app itself will not work with an Android device, so just keep that in mind. Now my preset was not in there because it's a newer tablet, so I just put it uh, manually, 2160 by 1620, and that is the resolution of my tablet. Go ahead and press X, we're gonna go Edit, Project Settings, and we're gonna go to Input, and we're gonna turn on Capture Mouse, oh sorry, not that one, o Always Show Touch Interface, so that we can actually see the buttons or the touch interface in our tablet later on. Let's go ahead and close that out. And then what we're gonna do is create a new camera in Unreal Engine 4. So we're gonna go camera, send a camera actor, and we're just gonna place it right there. It doesn't really matter where we place this thing, okay? And then the next thing we're gonna need, go to the settings here, details, world settings. If you can't see world settings, go ahead and go to settings, world settings and that's gonna bring you here and what we're gonna do is change this to virtual camera game mode all right that's set up and then what you're gonna do is actually go to this and then simulate new editor window pi or pie so that being said before you click that button and before i go to the living room and start showing you this in action what you're gonna need is your ip address 
from your computer. Now you need wireless connection for this, so make sure your computer, your laptop, and your iPad is connected to the same exact Wi-Fi connection. And then what you do is type in IP config here, press enter, and then you're gonna need your IP4 IP address. That's IP address that you are gonna use in the app so that you can connect to Unreal Engine 4. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and go to the living room and see this thing in action. Okay, so basically what we're doing now is just connect the iPad to the Unreal Engine. All right, so all you have to do is click on the launch. Now let's look at our world settings real quick. Go here, world settings. It's already set to virtual game mode. I'm just double checking here, guys. Okay, so all we do is open the U Remote, and then what we'll do is put the IP in the U Remote 2 app, and then press play, new editor, PIE. Okay, I'm gonna press connect, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Now what I'm gonna do is control the camera in Unreal Engine with the iPad. So I'm gonna focus on that laptop so you can kinda of see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking for that character. If I press T up on the um, iPad, that's like autofocus. If I click on him, oh actually I have to get the drop down first. Turn that on, I'm gonna click on him and then he should be in focus all the time. Now that's really cool. And then to record, all you do is at the bottom left corner, there's a red button and then we're just gonna record. Three, two, one. And then you're just going around and you can actually see me in the living room here. The more room you have, the better. Cause as you can see, I am actually getting close to him. I'm gonna try and get around him. You know, there's a close up right there. And one of the good things about using this is the cameras in Unreal Engine or any 3D softwares, you only get static shots. It's very hard to get these nice uh, movements, handheld movements, you know? You can also change your lens, the top left. So I can go to like a 75, all right? You know what, let's go to 135. And you're gonna see that that's really punching it in. And I can also, I'm gonna stop that for now. You can also change how much stabilization is being done. So let's go with advance. Okay, let's go to basic. I'm just gonna turn that up. Go to like 68% looks like it's the most it can do. Then I'm just gonna try and look at the other settings here. AR kit, area Alexa, Focus meta tracking, I have it in tracking. Let's do feet. Okay. And then stabilize movement. I have it set to 68. And it's cool because you can actually see the settings I'm flipping through on my laptop as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this up. And then let's see if I can do uh, something cool. Um, let's go back. That's making me dizzy. So let's go back to a little wider focal length here, maybe a 40, yeah. Let's do a 40, let's do tracking focus, make sure we have that drop down, if not, it's not gonna work. There you go, and pretty much, I'm gonna press record, and then see if I can go around, so you can kinda see the character behind him, okay? And if I pop open the tracker controls, I can usually, and I can always move front, back with that, so you can see the little joystick. But with that thing, it's just really, really sensitive. But since I'm running, a, I'm running out of room here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with the joystick. So that's one of the good things about that. So now, turn around, and now you can see the other person on the other side of this. So if I click on her, there you go. Autofocus is set on her. Okay, and then I want, if I wanna go back to him, I'll just tap his head and there you go, look at that. That's so cool. And um, let's go ahead right there. 
And if we want to, you know, go ahead and dolly to her, we can press that joystick. If you're running out of room, and then move. All right, the lighting is kind of jacked up, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and track her face. Make sure she's in focus. Now, obviously, it is a little bit shakier, but I'm not really trying hard to stabilize it. Okay, that's pretty cool. An iPad with Unreal Engine 4, I am now able to use this as my camera inside. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this technology. And uh, big up again to Winbush to pretty much showing us how this is done.